Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Entertainment Earth Guardians of the Galaxy exclusive 5-pack Groot. Uh, you can get this through Big Bad Toy Store, that's how I got mine. I do prefer Big Bad over Entertainment Earth. That's up to you, but if you do want to go through Big Bad, there is a link in the description below. So here's Groot. He's basically the same as the Bath Groot we built not that long ago. He's about 10 inches tall to the top of his head. And he has more paint on him than the other Groot, so that's a good thing. You can see throughout the body we have a few different shades of brown, it looks like. Uh, of course, with shading, I can't tell how many they actually used, but there's a few shades in there and some darker colors, so that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, the head is a lot browner than the rest of him. That's a little odd. It's not super noticeable, but it is definitely more brown. So it's a little interesting. Uh, the eyes are painted in there with some gold, and we have some black in there for the mouth. I personally prefer the movie look, just because I don't really care for this. He looks more like a haunted tree rather than a comic book character, kind of like a, uh, a tree beard or whatever those are called. No, they're called Ents, E-N-T, I think. The guy's name was Treebeard. From Lord of the Rings. Anyway, um, this is him. Head, same ball peg as before, so it still sits a little weird. When it's looking forward, it's fine, but it doesn't have, like, a great... I don't know, there's something weird about it. It's I think it's just the way the ball peg is positioned on the head. It looks a little off. But it's not bad. It's okay. Not a problem. I don't know. I think it's the way the peg is sitting farther back on the neck. I don't know. It's not a big deal. Anyway, ball hinge for the shoulder. And these are all soft pieces. So they just hide the joint really nicely. I really like that they did that. So that's pretty good. Uh, double jointed elbow. He's real soft, by the way. So be careful. Some stuff is going to be stuck. You don't want to just rip it off. So use a little caution when posing him. But if he wasn't squishy and soft and stuck... Good range of motion out of the elbow. The wrist has a hinge and a swivel. Fingers are all really soft there. The ab crunch rotates. It's more of a diaphragm joint, really. But it doesn't go side to side, so it just goes forward and back. Pretty good range, though, and it does rotate. Hips go... Oh, they're Y-jointed hips? I didn't remember that. So they're Y-jointed hips, but you can just rotate the knees once you pull them out. So that works out okay. They do tuck in nicely when they are straight though, so that's pretty good. And you get about 90 degrees, a little bit less. For the ankles, we have a hinge. And they did put the ankle rocker in there. You're not going to get a whole lot of posing out of him probably, but you do have that. Mine came with some kind of sticky goop stuff. It had like fur, like some kind of fuzz stuck to it. I was able to scratch most of it off, but uh, Big Bad is sending me a replacement, so... I'll have a good one soon. But anyway, it's a good figure. If you like Comic Groot, which you probably do, then you're going to want to get this. Grab that five pack. It's pretty good so far. I have one left to review, but I already know she's pretty good too. So uh, there you have it. There's the Comic Groot. I do recommend it. I like the figure. They did a pretty good job with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.